The year was 1991 and Blackburn Rovers had pulled off all stops and secured what would be the biggest managerial appointment in the club's long history. And in had come King Kenny Dalglish. Dalglish led the club to promotion via the playoffs and into the first ever season of the Premier League. Rovers were one of the teams to watch in the Premier League, finishing fourth in their first season before eclipsing that twice, finishing runners-up in the third season before winning the title outright in its fourth and final season as manager. After these dizzy heights, Rovers have since fallen into harsher times. Many managers have come and gone, but no one has reached those crazy heights ever since. What could King Kenny do if he were to return to Ewa Park once again? Can he get Rovers back to the second tier of English football at the first attempt? Or will his age affect his masterful footballing brain? Let's find out, shall we? Hello folks, welcome back to yet another Football Manager 2018 Blackburn Rovers Managerial Experiment. In each one of these experiments, we recreate the 2017-2018 season with Blackburn Rovers, but we, we, we do that with a manager from the past. And in this episode, we are really kicking it right back to the beginning of the Premier League era with Kenny Dalglish. Oh yeah. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Bring up Blackburn Rovers. There you can see King Kenny is back in the hot seat for Rovers and he's on 10 grand a week so that's Billy Bargain and look at this reputation it's 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 glistening it's nearly a complete five star he's got the reputation in there obviously his track record there he is Blackburn Rovers in the real deal uh former former manager four years he was at, at the helm and he guided us from the championship the the old school uh division two I think to the Premier League in the inaugural inaugural season if I can get that word out basically the first ever season of the Premier League uh we second and then we won the whole stinking lot so what can king kenny do with the likes of bradley dack charlie mulgrew richard smallwood and the like can he steer us back to the premier league not the premier league can he steer us back to the championship at the first attempt so we're, we're going to fast forward to the end of the season see what king kenny has done with the mighty rovers and his second time as manager so here we are folks 31st of may 2018 we've done the season and I'm a little bit nervous to see what King Kenny has done with Blackburn Rovers. So we're going to bring up Blackburn Rovers and you'll instantly see how well we've done. If I can spell it right, we are first in the national, in the League One. So before I click on that little uh, number, it could mean a couple of things. It could mean King Kenny is still a king and got us back uh, to the championship at the first attempt, which is what we're trying to do. That's the main goal here. Or he could join the likes of Paul Ince, Steve Keane as being sacked and replaced by another manager. Let's just click on it. Take a look. Well, there you have it, folks. That's awesome news. King Kenny, still manager of Blackburn Rose. We'll take a look now at how well he fared as manager. So we click on it. So champions, that's good. And uh, he's done it. He's only just done it, really. Let me just scribble this down. He finished first, which is great, uh, with a point tally of 89 points. So that's actually shy of Tony Mowbray's tally of 96. Uh, but it's better than OC, o o Owen Coyle and Henning Berg's. Uh, so comfortably in the middle of the table for um, for King Kenny. In fact, it's better better than uh, Roy Hodgson. It's better than uh, it's a little shy. I was quite considerably shy of uh, Graham Souness and Brian Kidd. But hey, it's King Kenny. He deserves some respect. Anyway, let's take a look at Blackburn Rovers in a little bit more detail. Uh, the main man for King Kenny was Elliot Ben with 50 appearances. This season, in fact, I need, to, I need to straighten this up a little bit. So, the, yeah, the main man was Elliot Bennett, 50 appearances. Then it was Paul Downing with 49. David Raya was in third with 48 appearances. Richie Small was in fourth, 46. Uh, Derek Williams also uh, 46 appearances, so he's in fifth place. As for the goals, wowza. Bradley Dack with 20 goals this season. Dominic Samuel in second with 13. Adam Armstrong has 12. Danny Graham has uh, 9. And Marcus Anderson wraps up the top five with eight goals. As for the assist, no surprises. Once again, Elliot Bennett tops the table with 14 assists. Danny Graham's in second with eight. Uh, Henry Chapman's in third with six. Marcus Anderson has four. And Bradley Dack has four. Now let's go look. In fact, sorry. Sorry, I've got ahead of myself there. Let's go take a look at the best player. Elliot Bennett tops the table with 7.32. What a player he's turned out to be. Uh, Danny Graham with 7.25 in second spot. Bradley Dack in third with 7.14. Uh, Derek Williams, uh, 7.07. And Chapman tops it off with 7.04. Let's just see, have a look at how their value has fared. In fact, 
Yep, yep. We've all, we also got a couple of loanies. I never, I think I skipped those. There we go. Let's just take a look at the transfer dealings. Remy Street uh, was brought in on loan. Seems to be a common thread uh, with a number of these managers. 11 appearances for him this season. One assist, one man of the match. 6.89 rating. And Carl Walker-Peters, uh, right back, obviously, giving Paul Caddis and Ryan Nimby a run for uh, the position. 20 appearances for him. 7 uh, 0 0.02 average rating. So we did uh, we did look at the stats. Let's go to look, take a look at the cup form. So the we won against Walsall in the League Cup. Then we got beat by Hull. Uh, as for checker trade, not really fussed about that. The FA Cup we won against Bradford, beat Notts County. Then we got beaten by Burton in the third round, which is disappointing. Um, made to the semi final of the checker trade northern section, uh, getting ousted by Doncaster. But who really cares about that? Anyway, let's take a look at how Blackburn Rovers fared overall within League One. As for the goal scorers, Paddy Madden tops the goal scorers charts with 24 goals. Ewan Dawes in second with 22. Charlie White is in third with 19. There's Bradley Dack with 17 in fourth place. Jonathan Obike uh, from Oxford. He's in uh, fifth place alongside uh, Callum O'Hara, also on Oxford with 16 goals. Callum uh, Cala Caro 2 Q. Levery is in there with uh, 16 goals also. Whatever his name is. Uh, as for the assists, Ryan Ledson tops the assists charts uh, with 15. Uh, Cameron Bannigan's in second with 14. Joined alongside Joe Edwards and Richie Tal. They also have 14. Jake Fosker, Kasky has 13 assists. So does Ben Pringle. Um, as for the best player, it's got to be. It's got to be Bennett, hasn't it? Got to be Bennett. There he is, 7.35 for Elliot Bennett. Paddy Madison's in second place with 7.31. Anthony Grant has 7.23 in third place. Richard Tal has four uh, in fourth place with 7.20. And Josh Timmin, once again, wraps up the top five with 7.16. So let's go back and take a look at that table one more time. Oxford are in second. We're going to finish third, but they don't go up. Northampton do. But let's go look at the other tables. Uh, first and foremost, the Premier League. Manchester United top the table with 90 points. A long, long, long way uh, ahead of second place Manchester City, who have 79 points. Uh, Liverpool in third with 75, and Tottenham wrap it up with 74 points. As for the bottom three, Southampton, uh, Huddersfield, and Watford will be joining Blackburn in the Championship next season. So let's take a look at the Championship. Villa are champions, and they'll be joined by Cardiff City, who go back to the Premier League once again. And Preston make a, make the make the jump for the first time in the uh, Premier League era. They uh, ousted Brentford, Reading and Wolves in the playoffs. As for the bottom end, Sheffield United, Burton and Barnsley will be going to League One uh, and in League One. We did see the top end. But how about the bottom end? Wimbledon, Gillingham, Rochdale and Plymouth are relegated out of League One into League Two. Now, speaking of League Two, Coventry City are the champions. But who are going to join them? It looks like Lincoln got there through the playoffs. But Carlisle and Colchester, the three Cs, they're going up. As for Grimsby and Morecambe, they are going down. So let's back it up one more time and look at the League One table. With King Kenny in charge, 89 points. Like I said, he did the job that was asked and he got was promoted at the first attempt. However, he does fall shy towards the, the average average ratings amongst the former managers. He's in the, he's in the cluster of, um, of Henning Berg and Owen Coyle in that sort of era, or area, should I say. But... Much, much better than the likes of Steve Keane, obviously, Paul Ince, obviously, and Paul Lambert, who really failed. But anyway, to summarise this experiment, you basically, despite having some heavyweights in this with Sam Allardyce, uh, uh, Roy Hodgson, and Kenny Daglish, those three really failed to live up to the hype that um, that they, they created themselves. Whereas you look at the, on the flip side, with some of the guys, the sort of low-key managers, Michael Afton, Gary Bowyer, and even Brian Kidd, triple-digit figures for those guys. Um, so fair play. So it just goes to show you don't have to be a big cheese in League One to become a really good manager. And uh, I've enjoyed this experiment, uh, looking back at some of these uh, managers from the past. But to be honest with you, I'm looking forward to next season with Tony Mowbray in charge of Rovers in the Championship. Let's see what he can do. Also, before we check out of this whole series, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because it'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. And it's going to be a busy old summer and a busy old next season. Anyway, until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now.